Whether you're restoring a car or doing regular maintenance, you're gonna be repairing or running new brake lines, fuel lines, AC or trans cooler lines, and that means you're not only gonna need tubing, but also other tools to do the job right. Everything you need is available at Eastwood, from this hydraulic flare tool I'm gonna to demonstrate today, to our popular vice-mounted pro flaring tool, as well as tubing straighteners so you can buy your lines in bulk, plus bending and forming pliers, tubing cutters, deburring tools, and more. And remember, if at any time you want more info on these products at eastwood.com, all you have to do is click or tap the button that appears in the top corner of the video. Today I want to show you how to use the hydraulic flare tool, which is great not only off the car, but on the car as well. And that means it's great for repairs where you may only need to fix a section of the line. So you can cut the line, slide on the fittings, flare the lines on the original tubing on the car, as well as a new piece you're replacing, and reconnect the lines for a quality repair. Like I said, this tool is great to use on the car, but so you can really see how it works, we're going to demonstrate it off the vehicle. The tool comes in a handy case to keep you organized with everything you need to make 45 degree single and double flares and 3 16 to half inch tubing, as well as ISO DIN bubble flares and 4.75 millimeter to 10 millimeter, push connect type flares and quarter to half inch, and the popular GM style fuel line flares and 5 16 3 8 and half inch. That's a lot of flare sizes and styles for a single kit, and we're going to get started by making a common 3 16 double flare for a brake line. To make this flare, you'll need the 3 16 die blocks to hold the brake line tubing, as well as the Operation Zero block, which will set the tubing flush in the die blocks, and the flare dies for Operation One and Two, which will form the double flare. If you've used our turret style flare tool, the operation is very similar. Start by placing the brake line tubing in the 3 16 die blocks and set it in the yoke and lightly tighten to hold it in place. Then screw the hydraulic cylinder into a few threads of the yoke. Insert the block for operation zero, which is going to push the tubing until it's flush with the end of the die blocks for proper flaring. Screw the cylinder all the way in and pump until the brake line is flush with the end of the die blocks. Remove the block for operation zero and place the flare die for operation one into the plunger and pump the cylinder until it contacts the die block, beginning to form the flare. You will then remove that flare die and replace it with the flare die for operation two and again pump it until it hits the die blocks completing the double flare. Remove the tubing from the yoke and die blocks and you can see the perfect 45 degree double flare that was formed in our 3 16th brake line tubing. Not only will it make perfect double flares, but you will also have the ability to easily flare GM style fuel line flares, push connects, as well as single and bubble flares and many sizes of tubing. If you're doing your own maintenance or restoring a car, you're going to be working on brake and fuel lines or even AC and trans cooler lines, and you're going to need to make flares. And whether you need to do it on the car or off, this tool is going to give you quality flares every time. Don't screw around with cheap flare tools from auto parts stores, which often take a few tries to get a good flare. When you're working on a car, you don't need to waste time cutting and flaring and recutting and reflaring until you get a flare you can use and then hope you can get a good flare on the first try on the other end of the tubing so you don't have to start over, especially when you're under a car. And you don't want to pour flare on your lines, especially your brake lines. And this hydraulic flare tool will give you quality flares and peace of mind. For more information or to get your hydraulic flare tool today, click the button that appears on the screen to visit eastwood.com.